I'll review this game with one simple question. Is it worth money to live out your fantasy of being a shy, sexually confused college girl and allow yourself to be taken advantage of emotionally by a promiscuous party girl Latina? If you answered yes to this question, you should buy the game. Let's fucking go! Oh. Mm. 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 oh, I'm definitely feeling the, the teen spirit or something. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and beyond. How are you guys doing today? My name is Adam and I drank a bunch of Diet Coke before this and I need to burp. <coughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, motherfucker. I'm going to kill you in your sleep. Welcome! One and all two roommates, one of you fine folks recommended this to me and I gotta say I'm pretty intrigued. This song is so grating, it's making me want to pull out my eyes, but that's fine. That's fine, I'm sure it will grow on me. I'm sure it will grow on me. Here we are! It sounds like we can pick one of these two fine humans to be our protagonist. I'm down for that and I'm down for this! And this, I'm down for all of it. But one thing that I did see that made me very concerned is in the options. There's a simulation difficulty. Easy, normal, hard. Is hard like too real? Is it too real? This, is it just like, like you feel the rejection deep down? Like if you fail, your mum comes into the room and she's like, you're a disappointment. Like she's in cahoots with the developer. Is that, let's <laughs> start and go for it. The song is not ending, make it end. We can play as you. Shout out to the Eoldi Checkered Sweatband. Ooh! Oh my god, me, circa year 2000, would have loved him. Uh, and there we have you. You look well. Let's click on you because you're a girl and I like lesbians. Anne thinks that she could be the fresh start. She needs to break out of her shell. She is a turtle that uh, that is questioning her identity. Her goal is to make at least three new friends while keeping her grades up. Max's plan is to stay in school long enough to save up money through part-time jobs to get by without his parents' financial support. Then drop out and do coke. Well, I love that. I'm 100% behind you, buddy. Let's start with... Oh no, I don't remember your name. It's the simulation set to hard. Ah! Choose the simulation gameplay difficulty. I was joking. It will only hit right now quickly when you improve the stats, but nothing else. I'm going to hit save right now, because why not? Um, look at her. She's like, my boobs are a shelf when my hands are tired. I like to rest them here. Honestly, same, except not same. How lazy do you have to be to prop your hand up on your chest? Like, you can't even be bothered to use the brain cells to hold it up. To be honest, I don't think her eye can be bothered to stay on one side of her face. It's already slipping off. That is a three-quarter view. That's pushing it. <laughs> All right, enough. Enough. Enough ribbing the game. Let's engage in other activities. Um, not ribbing. Ri mm. A card! Ah, college. A glorious new world filled to the brim with opportunities for education, STIs, and networking. Oh, and also, absolutely soul-shaking, terrifying. Why are you wearing a uniform, you absolute pleb? Do they have uniforms in college? Is that what's going on here? I know some colleges do. If I'd gone to college in the Philippines, I'd have had to wear a uniform. And pray to Jesus, the population of my hometown is around 5,000. Until now, the farthest I've ever been from home is 10 miles, and that was to say hello to a goat, my best friend goat. Sometimes my brain just wanders, and that was to stay with my grandparents while our house was getting fumigated because I am made of cockroaches. A cockroach just like slides out from under her eye just then. That would be bad. <laughs> I'm making her really grody. I'm sure she's fine. I have a hard time looking strangers in the eye, let alone talking to them. It's all those cockroaches. You may wonder what a shy small town girl like me is doing at Liberty University, the third largest school in the state. I'm starting to wonder that myself. I thought I wanted to get out of my comfort zone, but this might be a bit too much. As I walk down the street, I feel like everyone is staring at me. That's because they're like, oh my god, she can't even be bothered to to carry her own hands. She's got to use her giant breasts to do it. Okay, deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths. Breath is a, is a hard word to say first. Relax, smile naturally when you make eye contact. She like smiles and that cockroach is back. I don't know why she's made of cockroaches. It's only a short distance to the place I'll be staying for the rest of the year. I'm living in a house on campus. It's a little more expensive, but most of my tuition is covered through scholarships anyway, and dorm living sounds loud and chaotic, the opposite of what I want. I think it'll be worth the investment. Oh my god! Are you Anne? I'm anything you want me to be, babe. 
A cute, well-dressed young man stands at the door of my house, holding a bundle of papers in his hand. All right, well, I'll take that bundle right off you. <laughs> this must be my ra. I don't know what that means. Deep breaths. Yes. Oh, your name is Anne. Okay, Anne. And you're Dominic. My name is Dominic. I'm the ra for Latin House. I'm Anne. Come on in and have a seat. I'll start the orientation in a few minutes. Um, thank you! I'm trying not to think about how often I'm looking at the floor. Just another thing to work on this year. I just happen to really like floors. They're distracting when I talk to other humans. I'm about to step inside when... Wham! Oh my goodness! Well, you have a very shiny elbow. That is a quality that I search for in my mates. Whoops. Sorry. She keeps running into the house. She's just repeatedly running like an NPC that's like <laughs> the pathing path is broken. She's just like. Hey, Isabella. I can't believe she just. He gives me a look of concern and holds out his hand. I'm so sorry. That was incredibly rude of her. Are you all right? Can you stand? I think so. Oh, what happened to us? Lord. I take his hand and try to stand up. I didn't twist my ankle, but it still kind of hurt. I'm having a hard time thinking of anything that would have justified running that fast, let alone not having the time to stop it. What if they're late? She's like, nothing can justify running that fast. I think Usain Bolt should slow down. Is everyone in this house like this? Yes, yes. Actually, it's illegal in this house to move at speeds below uh, 20 miles an hour, so you better get running. Oh, not at all. She's just insane. He hesitates. Well, everyone has their eccentricities, but they're not all like Isabella. I swear, she's a bitch. I would have quit this gig ages ago if they were. Wow, rude. <laughs> Jesus, Dominic. He's savage. He's like, I hate her. He. He. He gives me a reassuring smile. He! I want to make sure everyone here has a good living experience, so if anything's bother you, just come talk to me. He's like flipping a switchblade around, he's like, if anyone's bothering you, let's uh, we'll just have a little chat. Thank you again, Daddy! Daddy Dominic and his switchblade! I'm glad there's at least one person here I can talk to. Dominic seems very kind. Finally, I enter the house I'll be calling home for the next year. Where is Isabella? Isabella. Isabella. The first floor is huge. I love floors. I can immediately see an oversized couch facing a nice big screen TV. There's also some kind of breakfast nook with a big table and an area with several bookshelves surrounding a bunch of uncomfortable, of comfortable looking chairs. All right. Everything's polka dotted. The chairs are diseased. You're still massaging your tits. I sit on the couch and take a book out of my purse. I love books of all flavors. I eat them. I put them in my mouth and chew. This is why I have many friends. At the moment, I've got a rather promising fantasy novel to start. What is wrong with your eye? <laughs> it's like sneaking away. Before I can get too far into the story though. What? Dominic comes back. A young man with spiked hair swaggering in after him. Mr. MySpace! It's MySpace! That's your nickname from now on. Tall, handsome, bad boy vibe. The kind of boy my parents always warned me to stay away from. Despite not actually having someone like him in a 70 mile radius. Even when they're standing next to each other, he and Dominic seem like they're from parallel worlds. So, I'm Max! Just as I thought, it's hard to look him in the eye. At least I maintained eye contact for a moment before staring at his crotch area antisocial behavior. Hey, no need to be shy. Anyone sitting here? Why don't you take a seat over there? Dominic points to the opposite end of the couch. What? I can't sit next to her. It's better that you both have more space. Ball, you just want to have it to yourself. Dominic slams a packet of papers in front of Max with surprising force. Here are the house rules. All of them are just like, suck Dominic's dick. <laughs> There's like 10 entries and they all read that. He walks over to me and hands me a packet as well, more delicately. I guess Max just irritates him. Yeah, all right. 
Let's go over them together. Anne, would you like to start? Okay. There shall be no consumption, storage, or sale of alcoholic beverages. <laughs> That's what it said. Students found in violation of this regulation the subject to dismiss from the housing area and remittance of. Why do I. Why am I even. Why is this a thing? Why do I need to get over the house rules? Unless they're relevant to some sort of plot point. Never touched a drop of liquor in my life. Mm, I reckon you is gonna get well corrupted. No pets in this household in or around the building. That means no dogs allowed. You're gonna have to excuse yourselves. <laughs> that was bad. That's too bad. A hamster might have been nice. They're delicious. I'll go next. What the fuck? The sidewalk entries are... Why are we going over this? Is this like for emotion purposes? It's like... It's telling me how to do like my taxes. <laughs> There'll be no flammable materials or explosives, but what if I'm always lit? Blatantly causing fire hazards. They only put rules in after someone's done something dumb. I'm really having second thoughts about this place. Like Max is like on fire as we speak. Now Max. Now Max what? Read the next two. Read the next two what? Read the next two rules please. Max is like, I can't read. <laughs> well, since you asked so nice. Students should not play musical equipment or instruments at such hours and such volume as- Oh, so he's like a musician. There'll be no firearms or weapons? What on earth? Unbeknownst to us, Dominic is made of guns. It is vital to Dominic that this iron-fisted- His iron-fisted rule over the populace of the household be lasting and eternal, such that any rebellion can be crushed without a moment's notice. Haha, <laughs> very funny, read it properly! He like punches him. Hey man, I'm just reading what's on the paper. Oh my god, he made a funny. I've read rule number six. Should I believe him? Wow, that's actually kind of amusing. I'll be right back. Oh my god, did it actually say that? <laughs> Isabella! Everyone has to say her name like that. Isabella! Regardless of their accent. Dominic drops everything and tears up the stairs at the speed of an angry Oh my god, Isabella totally rewrote the roster. Oh my god, love. Isabella. As in the... Isabella that bumped into me earlier. She may have been rude, but I can't help but admire the sheer audacity it must have taken to edit the rules sheet right under Dominic's nose. You haven't done a rebellious thing in your life, have you? Why are you wearing a uniform? I'm so lost. I wish I could be half as fearless as that. Well, you're pretty fearless going around with that eyeball! I would never leave the house. Dominic left so fast, he dropped our keys. Max stands up and tosses me mine. I just managed to catch it. He takes his promptly inserts it into his bum. That's like a meme for some reason, like around my chat. I don't know why everyone's always putting things in their bum. I don't know. I just think it's so weird. Like, like another character has to handle the situation. Someone's so furiously sticking things in their bum and you're just like, mm. <laughs> well, I'm gonna bring in my gear and there's this the place you come in. No, dick. <laughs> so, right, let me explain myself. I read in the reviews that you're supposed to really focus on whatever character that you're after. Uh, so I'm going to take that very literally, because I actually saw this game is supposed to be hard. My fringe is like, did I even try? So I'm going to take that really literally. And uh, fuck you, MySpace. I wouldn't mind walking around with a... I'm walking around by myself, I said. I wouldn't mind walking around with a handsome guy. But I'm not sure if I want to be alone with this particular handsome guy. And yeah. I'm terrible at dealing with confrontational, and I also melt under the sun. I think I'd rather explore by myself. Oh, come on, I don't bite. That would be the last thing I'd say. If someone was like, oh, I'd rather, I'd rather have some alone time. I'm not going to be like, come with me. <laughs> well, not to the... MySpace! He's getting fresh. Well, not until the fourth date anyway. That's when you do the weird stuff. The key slides down from his pant leg where he put that in his bum earlier. He actually winks at me. Did he seriously just... I think I'd rather die. I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> Looks disappointed. I really hope there aren't actually girls out there who fall for that sort of thing. I think he's fine, to be completely honest with you. But I'm just making a beeline for, for Isabella. I had no idea what to pack for a year away from home, so I brought as much as I could. Just got like 10 million dildos. All of my clothes, old notebooks, old scrapbooks, a microwave, my favorite tea mug, my favorite tea, my favorite tea strainer, an ironing board, a sewing machine, anal beads, my sewing kit, my bin of yarn, my anal beads, and knitting needles. The pillows I made in sixth grade, the needle point I made in seventh grade, pictures of my grandparents, parents, and extended family, anal beads, my laptop, my cell phone, charges from my laptop and cell phone, and my 50 favorite books with anal beads. Hmm? I rearrange things as neatly as I can before heading out. 
though the sheer volume of anal beads makes my room look far more claustrophobic than before. I hope there's a thrift store in town and I hope it sells nothing but anal beads. There's a sweet smell and some soft ambient music coming from the room next to mine. I wonder who lives there. Well, judging from the vacuous noises, we can only assume it's Satan. Satan and a violin. Satan's violin practice. I am evil! No response. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Invade a stranger's privacy. How to make friends. Now there's like a frog. The frog's like, Meh. Hello? Woo! Okay! I'm okay! I, I like her, honestly. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I like them all! I like you! What's this? The sanctuary house for intensely attractive people? I-A-P? Yeah! If so, what am I doing here? I'm beginning to feel somewhat insecure about my appearance to say this. Because you're the one in the fucking uniform! What the hell? Why are you doing that? Why? She's like, it's not even the uniform of the school. I just wear it to feel important. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Was I disturbing you? No. Not at all. Wait a minute, is that like... I misunderstood the type of music completely. I thought it was like some sort of like not this kind of music. I should introduce myself before my flight response kicks in and I take off and shoot through the roof as what frequently happens during conversation. I'm Anne. You? I'm Sally. I just moved in this past Friday. It's so nice to meet you. Um, thank you. I've forgotten what you sound like. I think she just sounded really intense. I think she's just gonna have a really fluctuating voice. Is that incense? Uh, this is just for meditation purposes. Her eyes are like bright red. Yeah, the energy is so hectic. <laughs> I don't feel like there needs to be something to try and call the balance. Yeah. Energy. Energy! You know, everything's like ours. <laughs> the spiritual force is connecting everything. Why don't you touch one energy, then my touch will explode. Isabella. Isabella. Rakesh! getting here. Sally winces. Everything ripples outwards from there. I'm going to keep meditating. <laughs> You're going to join me if you like. No, thank you. Maybe some other time. Sitting in a smoke-filled room with a complete stranger, even one who seems perfectly nice, is still far outside my comfort zone. Okay, I'll see you at dinner. These people are really nice. So, like, You're welcome to join me in my weird activities. <laughs> Why couldn't I why couldn't I join Sally? I quite like the idea of being in the weird incense room. I walked towards the yelling noises. It was rude to hide out and eavesdrop, so I decided to set myself on fire and run into the room screaming as to not make much impact on the situation. Hey lies! Oh, so this will be interesting. Cover me in gasoline and set me on fire. That's how you make friends. I walk further down the hall, following the sound of Isabella's outrage. Ah, the door to what I can only assume is her room is half open. That shook my brain. I go inside to see what the commotion's about. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Picasso! He's wearing an artist beret! I am sold, lad! I am sold on you! Isabella is glaring at a young man who's acting like he's made some very regrettable decisions. I hope the two of them don't fight. I've barely been here an hour. I'd hate to find out if I've made a terrible mistake in living arrangements. Don't fight, at least until and um, don't fight until I've gotten the oil. Then you may fight. Maybe it's not too late to get reassigned. Yet another good looker, though. It looks as though he came straight off the cover of a romance novel. Oh uh, well, hmm, I too came straight off the cover of. Um, I can't believe you painted all over my dance pole. <laughs> Or he's an exotic dancer and this house is secretly a strip club. What have I gotten myself into? I'm sorry. Do you not like the colors? It has nothing to do with the colors. I can't exercise with all this fresh purple. But it looks more vibrant, yes? No! Well, maybe a little, but I'm still mad because you should have asked before you went off and used my things in your art project. You wouldn't want me to take all your paintbrushes and put them in my anus, would you? The guy thinks for a moment, then shakes his head. I would not know if you did that! And there's a problem. There's such a thing as private prop- <laughs> What the hell? He just no-clipped through the room. What's all this about? He like bursts his head through the, through the wall. Like <laughs> Rakesh messed with my exercise pole. I so I see. And... You're the ra- Why don't you talk to him about it? 
Oh, I'd love to, Isabella, but I'm afraid that over-regulating things here would make me too much of an iron-fisted dictator. Seriously? I'm always serious. How else would I crush rebellions? You're a knob! <laughs> She's off to take a shower. Better install this cameras. Don't do that. That's a bad joke. Don't let karma hit you on the way out. <laughs> he spots me out of the corner of his eyes. What? Hello. Oh, Anne. I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have left halfway through orientation. Did you find your way around? Okay. Well, what do you think? I'm in someone else's bedroom. What do you think? Do I look okay? My hands are so tight. I must rest them on my chest all the time. Oh, definitely. Please don't worry about it. Let me know if you need any help unpacking. I'd like to make it up to you somehow. But, you know, I can donate some things. I bought way too much. Of course. I know there are some clothes and book swaps on campus and that uh, anal bead thrift store. Just have to look up when and where they are. Okay. Dominic spends the next hour looking up dates, locations, and directions, various swap events, all directions, and you that's very nice of you. Why? I'm in your room all of a sudden. Why do you have no personality? Where, where is everything? <laughs> Never had a guy who goes so out of his way for me, although I'm sure it's just him doing his job. Like, Okay. As I walk out of Dominic's room with a stack of helpful papers in my arms, I see the pole painting boy come out of Isabella's room, covered in considerably more paint smearage than before. Did he spend all that time clearing up? Um, hi. At least I was louder this time, if not by much. He turns to me and presses his hands together into what I can only assume is a respectful gesture. How do I say that in a French accent? I know you're not French. I'm just focusing on your beret. I don't mean anything weird by that, but... Namaste! <laughs> yeah, I knew, yes, I don't know what accent this is, I'm sorry. Yes, my name is Anne. I am Rakesh. It is good to meet you, Anne. Thank you. Do you always talk in that silly accent? <laughs> you're clearly not French. <laughs> I do not know what you mean. I have no idea how to phrase it tactfully. Rakesh tilts his head. Great roommates. Have paint on? Oh, no, no. I do not paint other people's belongings. Most of the time. Most of the time? Have you ever had an idea so strong? It takes over your nuts. Sacre bleu! When I am inspired like that, everything is a canvas. I see. Hmm. I see I may have to invest in a lock for my door. I'm trying to figure out how to tactfully ask for cash to leave my things alone when my stomach growls. I try not to let it show, but I'm suddenly very aware of the smell of food coming from the kitchen. Uh, it is time for dinner! Who's cooking? Usually it is me, but today it is Sally's turn. He doesn't look particularly happy about it. Is she a bad chef? Not very good. She just does not cook with any meat or milk products, not even butter. Vegan. Yes, vegan. Back home, there's no such thing as vegan, let alone vegetarian. Meat, potatoes, convenience store food, maybe some Chinese takeout if we want to be particularly fancy. I wonder what a vegan meal even looks like! It's not gonna look like anything different. It's just gonna be food. I walk back downstairs into the kitchen. Or maybe it's just like... A human. Maybe it's just like a human. Straight up cooked human. Vegan! Vegan! Didn't hurt any animals. I suppose humans are animals. Sally looks up from her frying pan and gives a cheerful wave. It looks like she's cooking some kind of... Patty? What is this? The hip hop patty?! Hello again. Don't know where I did. It's a few minutes. Okay. What are you making? Oh, nothing too fancy. I know that most of the people in here are omnivores, so I'm making some good fashion burgers and hot dogs. Burgers and hot dogs? Wouldn't those have veggie burgers and hot dogs? Oh. They don't can taste just like the real thing. I don't even be able to tell the difference. She flashes me a smile so bright. I couldn't possibly doubt her sincerity. I suppose I'll take your word for it. Um, is there anything I can do to help? Oh no, I'm all covered here, but what you can do is polish my elbows so that they shine even more. You just have a seat and don't worry about a thing. Her voice changes completely, okay. <laughs> I don't know why it did. I go to the common room dining table and take a seat. Over on the couch, Dominic seems to be giving Rakesh a half-hearted lecture on property rights. Rakesh smiles and nods, but I get the feeling it's not going to stick. I don't see Max yet, but I do hear what sounds like an electric guitar riff from upstairs. Oh! What was that? Oh no! Um, hey, it's ready. It's dinner ready yet. I don't know why you sound like that now. Uh, it's a bit like it's down the stairs, fresh from the shower. Which I mean, she's wearing nothing but a towel! 
Oh boy, you get dressed before coming down here. Dominic, don't act like you've never seen a woman in a towel before unless. Oh, it's still Dominic getting all hot and bothered. At least the guy upstairs appreciated the view. She looks me over, OMG. And this girl too. What? <laughs> Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Only oh, yeah, the one I bumped into earlier. I um, I like your chest area. What? She looks like she is literally becoming a plum when she does that. I don't. Why is her mouth so small? Enough. Isabella, put some clothes on. It's a towel. I am breaking neither house rules nor public decency laws. Face it, honey. In a war of escalation, I always win. We'll see about dinner, sir. Sally bustles up, carrying so many platters. It's a wonder she hasn't fallen over. Burgers and hot dogs here, buns here. She like wiggles her bum around. Sweet potato fries and cardamoms over here. Enjoy. Wooey. I'm starved. Max comes downstairs limping a little. Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Just dropped my guitar on my testicles. Is that what happened? He winks at Isabella. Maybe I shouldn't ask. Oh, I see. I saw her and was like, oh my god. And like dropped his guitar. Everywhere. Everyone is tasting the food. The texture is uh, interesting. It's like a human foot. It's like a full-on human foot. Once you get past that, the taste is okay. Not something I'd go out of my way to eat, but okay. I'm going to order a pizza. <laughs> I reluctantly agree. <laughs> you big babies, you've barely had a bite each. Your elbow is the shiniest of them all. Oh yeah? If you like it so much, then how come your plate is nothing but fries? I'll have some later. I'm just bracing myself. Rakesh puts his plate aside. Thank you for the meal. I am full. <laughs> what the hell? I don't think this is that bad. No, no, they're right. I must have not gotten a good brand. I'll just have to do better next time. She clasps, claps her hands. Dominic, make that three pizzas one with no cheese. It'll be my treat this time. And so it came to pass that my first meal on campus was delivery. Almost everyone in this house is incredibly lively. Even Sally, despite her whole meditation thing. But even in the midst of all these strong personalities, I don't feel comfortable. Uncomfortable. Hmm, maybe this will work out for the best. Oh, girl, we just had our first day. Oh, my God. For as long as I can remember, I've had this recurring dream where I hit an alarm clock over and over again until it stops. The strangest thing about it is it always happens just before I have to get up. I bolt up right and look to my left. Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. 10.28. I have two minutes to get to class. Wow, did we... Oh, wow. Wow. We totally did it. We did it, lads. Woo! Oh. All right, we just had our first day. Folks, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode of Roommates. I know it's a bit of an old game, but I'm having fun. And if you like it, then be sure to show your support. If you guys support it, then the series will continue. So be sure to drop a comment saying you like this penguin or something. I don't know. For more videos like this, check out the links in the description or the end card that is sure to follow. But absolutely most importantly, take care of yourselves and I will see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.